Today I'm going to share my healthy hair secrets that every woman needs to know. Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel for women over 50. And if you're a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video and they'll all relate to you. I'm so excited today to share with you a whole lot of things that I do to keep my hair strong and healthy and shiny. And as you get older, as you probably very well know, the consistency of your hair changes. So for me, it got drier from already being dry and frizzier and wirier, <laughs> if that's a word. It got more wiry. So I have to do a whole lot of things to keep it as good as it was before. So I'm going to share with you the things that I've found that actually work. My first thing is so cool. It really, really works. You may think it's an old wives tale, but I can tell you it's not for me anyway. And that is cutting your hair on the full moon. And since I've tried this, my hair has definitely grown quicker and thicker. So the thing is you cut your hair on the full moon or three days leading up to the full moon. And the reason behind it is because when the moon is full, that's when it has the most energy. And because we're so connected to the moon, that's when we have all that abundance of energy in our body. So the hair follicles can grow quicker. So if your hair's damaged or dry or brittle, or you just wanna make it grow a bit longer, give this a try. <laughs> I was surprised and when I tested it with my hairdresser we measured my hair from the back of the chair and it grew three centimeters in six weeks which is a lot which is way quicker than it usually grows. So if you've heard that it doesn't work I'm telling you it worked for me and it's worked for other people that I know so give that a try. My second tip is to prevent my hair from getting even more dry than what it is. I only wash my fringe every day to freshen up the look. So I'll go for four days without washing my hair. So today we're on day four for my hair wash and I'll style it. But every single day I just wash the front section. So I bring my hair to the front put it over the sink and wash and condition my hair then add a heat protectant on that and then blow dry it fresh. I don't get oily hair so that's not a problem for me and if your hair is very oily you may need to wash all of your hair every day but if you have dry hair give this a try because it saves you so much time because washing all of your hair every day or every second day is huge and who's got all that time? And then after I've done that, my third tip, if you're trying to get your fringe to stay in the right direction, you've got to blow dry it in the opposite direction. So when your hair's wet, air dry it to get a little bit of body into it, then pull it with a round brush on the opposite side to where you want it to fall. So for me, this is where I want it to fall. I pull it that side. And then when you get to the end, you kick it back under again. And it sits perfectly on the side that you want to without a cowlick. But if you want to get that kick and it just stays there perfectly with a little bit of hairspray, try this. I bet you it'll work. My next tip is the best thing ever. It's a hair turban. So this is a microfiber hair turban. And this is the shape. After you've washed your hair, you put this on instead of a towel. And the microfibers in these really soak up the water. And it dries your hair twice or three or four times quicker than the towel does. Plus, it's not bulky. It's just a little bit of fabric. You wrap it around your head and then you can go and do whatever you need to do. And it's not heavy like you've got a towel on. My husband thinks I look very attractive. But what I love about this is it stops the frizz. It's really amazing. And when I take it off, you can either do a quick dry before you go to bed, or you can pull your hair up into a ponytail and wrap two pieces of hair around each other. And that will further reduce the frizz for when you wake up in the morning. So these are great. They're not very expensive and they make a huge difference. This product is called Bringrage Oil and it's an Ayurvedic combination of oils and recipe to help with hair growth. 
And I used to make this kind of recipe years ago with all the powders and coconut oil and mix it all together. And it was great back then, but it was really messy and it was a hassle, so I didn't do it. But then a year ago, I started buying this one, which was already all the ingredients in it. And it's Beringrage and Amla oil. And Bringraj is called the ruler of the hair due to its ability to promote hair growth. And this is an ancient Ayurvedic remedy for balding and graying and growth for all for your hair. So this oil is like the hair king in Ayurveda and it really works. My hair is really dry. So what you do is you put it in your hand and then start massaging your scalp and really, really stimulate the scalp and the oil goes in and then you rub it onto the ends of your hair and through your hair and you put it on for an hour before you shampoo your hair so this is great for someone like me who washes my hair at night and it works beautifully on dry hair for rejuvenation and you know keeping it soft and healthy but keep in mind you're not going to put this on and you know after two weeks you notice your hair is thicker and longer it's not that kind of product it's something that you would use once a week for a long period of time and you'll notice the difference my next tip is for you if you're experiencing some hair loss lay on your bed or your couch and rest your head draping back over the edge and then start gently massaging your scalp all over for four minutes I've just inserted a small clock here, not to distract you, but just to give you an indication of how long four minutes of head massage actually takes. The goal here is to encourage blood flow to the scalp and your head must be below the heart to get that instant rush. Blood supplies oxygen to our hair follicles and the lack of oxygen creates hair loss. And if you're taking any form of medication at the moment, this is something that's going to really help stimulate that blood flow so you can rejuvenate your hair. And while you're doing this, take the time to actually feel your fingers on your scalp. And that touch is something that's missing in today's world. So just really feel it and connect in with yourself. Make sure that you get up very slowly. Take your time because you can get dizzy. And then when you're up, Bend back over the other way and stretch over your feet. You can also do this massage standing or kneeling. Just make sure that your head is lower than your heart. Really, this is such an easy thing to do that actually gets great results. My next tip is silk pillowcases are amazing for your hair. And I've said this before, but when I started using a pillowcase that was made out of linen, which is beautiful to sleep in, but you can't put your head on it because it cuts all the hair. I would say never, never, never do that because the weave of the cotton is quite thick. And when your hair is rubbing on it overnight, it cuts into your hair. And I'll show you mine. Like you can see these little bits here. So those bits there, unfortunately for me, got cut and I didn't realize it and I blame the pillowcase for that. So I started using silk pillowcases and I will never, ever, ever go back. They are so beautiful for your hair and when you sleep on it, your hair is less frizzy and not damaged at all when you wake up in the morning. And the silk pillowcases are beautiful for your skin. Be careful not to buy the satin pillowcases because it's a different experience. So the satin, you kind of slip off them <laughs> your face slips off and it doesn't feel good but for me I kept waking up in the middle of the night with a satin pillowcase it just wasn't right and the silk is a natural fiber and it has a beautiful harmony with your face and your hair and I would treat yourself and buy one of these if you haven't already got one and once you sleep on it I don't think you'll ever go back I also use supplements and vitamins to keep my hair healthy and I'm pretty sure they make a huge difference. So I always use hydrolyzed collagen and I use the Perfect Supplements brand because of its purity. And what happens is as you get older, the collagen in your body reduces and that causes dry, brittle hair and, you know, saggy skin and all that stuff. 
that we don't like. So it's important to get collagen back into your body. And I've done a lot of research on collagen and I'm confident that it really makes a huge difference to the thickness and the vitality of my hair and also my skin as well. And the second thing I take is biotin and I take biotin for hair growth. So there's a lot of research to say that biotin is actually very, very good for hair growth and it stimulates the hair cell and helps it to grow. So if you've got thinning and hair breakage, I think biotin would really help you. It makes a difference. I really hope these tips were helpful for you and you can try some of these yourself. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. I